may be time to brush up on your vocabulary. It's National Dictionary Day. Jake Peterson is giving a quiz around town. What better place to give the dictionary its due than at a university? But how often do these students even pick up this book? Move over, dictionary.com. These University of Tampa students want the real deal. When is the last time you've picked up one of these? Uh, do you know how to even use this? Yeah, anymore? I know how to use it. Well, let's do a test then real quick, and we'll find a word for you. Glasnost? I don't even know what that is. Palace. Can you define palace? Palace is a very large place where maybe a king or queen would live. I mean, she's right. I mean, I, I don't even have to look that up. Is that up. what that says? I, well, you know, I lost my place. Can you define partisan? <laughs> Good thing it doesn't take a bipartisan effort to know that the dictionary has other uses. Heads up. Have you ever used this to like balance something on your head? Have you ever tried, you know how like for posture? Have you ever done that before? No, I have not. Just give that a, <laughs> just give that a try sometime. Here's a new word for you, goga. It's the latest in exercise trends, and it sure looks too good to be true. You just stand on a little oscillating platform and jiggle your way to good health. Gogo enthusiasts say it tones and firms muscles, aids in weight loss, even helps you sleep. I slept like a baby last night. I slept like a baby the night before. Frank D'Astasio owns a studio in Lakewood Ranch. It's the 35th to open up in the United States. It's just uh, quick and easy. You don't sweat. You can come in in your work clothes. You're going to get the equivalent of a one-hour workout, 10 minutes on these machines. Wait a second. Haven't we tried this before? Remember these? And let's say it does work. Can we get past how it looks? We're all shaking our butts together. We're good. We're good. We're becoming very close friends. For the list, I'm Jake Peterson. <laughs>